What's up you guys? Welcome to the first tutorial on how to use Python. So um, you guys, in this tutorial series, I'm going to be teaching you a bunch of stuff about Python. If you're a complete noob, a person who never used Python before, these are the right tutorials for you because I'm going to start from the very, very basics on how to use Python. Um, yeah, so enough me talking and you'll you'll just you'll just understand once you go through the tutorial series that I'm just going to be building up um uh first well, I'm going to start with like um uh, uh simple commands and like simple python programs and after that I'm going to be doing more complex stuff. So let's get the basics, let's learn how to swim and then we can dive to the surfing. Uh okay, that was a <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm using PyCharm, and for you who have never seen this before, it's just a place where you can basically write Python code. And uh, yeah, it's like, look at this. Look at this. This is like so beautiful and neat. So um, yeah, I've decided to use PyCharm. You can be using the terminal, Note++, whatever you want to use. It would work anywhere. But just, just, you guys, uh, just to let you know that... Just make sure that you're using Python 3.5 because um, if you're using Python 2.5, um, no, 2.7, these tutorials, um, these are just like too new, I think, or I don't know how to say that, but yeah, these tutorials are just for 3.5 and 3.5 is a little bit, a little bit different than 3. Point, uh, sorry, 2.7. So let's start here. Uh, yeah, today I'm gonna today I'm gonna address um, uh, print statements. I'm gonna be talking about print statement. So this is your little introduction about um, about what I'm gonna introduce in the next uh, few tutorials. So uh, enough me talking and let's get started. All right. So new Python file. Let's call that first. Uh, I like to do that. Okay, good. So, so what do you have for print? So let's say you want to print anything in Python. So all you have to do is just uh, type p r i n t, and it would just do it for you. Print, and whatever you want to print, just surround it with quotations. So you can use double quotations. And you can use single quotations. So I I, uh, I prefer to use double quotations in whatever you type here. So for example, if I type mo ha med, sorry you guys you can't see, and then let me type my last name m a h j o u b. All right. So if you run this, you will realize that my name just got printed here. So this is pretty straightforward. Print this. Done. Easy cake. Um, um, but uh, what else do I want to teach you? So what if you want to indent this name? Like you, you now know how to print something in Python, but what if you want to indent this? So what you can do is use this and T. And that will indent it. You don't believe me? Let's see it. Boom. You see you guys it was like this before and now it's indented and so that's like another another feature of like Python that like you can use in print statements so what other stuff that you can use uh, or you can put in your print statements that will allow you to do stuff you guys remember that whatever you want to do just put it before the thing that you're trying to do it so if you're trying to do it sorry that was my bad um, if you're trying to like indent Muhammad, you, it doesn't make any sense if you put this here. So make sure that you just put it before the thing that you want to indent. So what if I want to put my last name and I want to just put it, um, I would just want to put it under Muhammad. So there's this second thing that I want to teach you guys is this. Boom, boom. So if you put an end there, I don't know what you call that, like a slash or something. Um, if you put that and you run it, check this out. It would put Muhammad, 
it's indented and it would put my last name under it. So you're saying, okay, Mo, it's great, but it's not lined up. Oh, so how can we fix that? So all we have to do is just indent it. Bum, bum. Easy cake. Boom. Look how beautiful this simple program is. Of course, this is a useless program, but uh, I just want to start with simple, basic commands so you guys don't get confused later on. So uh, this is your quick tutorial on how to print using Python. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.